Creating videos for personal or business use can be time consuming, stressful and challenging, especially for beginners. Fortunately, there are now dozens of powerful and easy to use video makers and editing tools that allow individuals with literally no experience to craft stunning videos in minutes. And one of our favorite tools for absolute beginners and that we use in all our videos is called InVideo. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along. Now today I'm excited to walk you through how you can simply make stunning and professional videos in minutes with one of our favorite video editing tools, InVideo. Now, InVideo is not just an easy to use video editing software. The reason we use this tool in all our videos is because you actually have access to thousands of customizable video templates and millions of stock images and videos that make it ridiculously easy to create your own video content. Okay, now before I guide you through how to use InVideo, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with InVideo. <music> All right, now before we launch into this in-video tutorial for beginners, it's important to note that this is a sponsored video. Now, we don't typically do sponsored videos. However, InVideo has been an amazing tool that we use nearly on a daily basis for creating our own video content as well as video content for our clients. This sponsorship just made sense to us. So thank you for your support in video. Okay, so let's dive right into InVideo without wasting any more time. Now to simply arrive here, click the link below this video in the description and that's going to take you over to InVideo. And once you've arrived here, the great thing about InVideo, especially in 2021, is they now offer a free plan. And this free plan generously provides you with all InVideo's features. And you have access to over 4,000 video templates that you can build your videos from. You also have access to their standard media library of videos and images you can use for free. And when you decide you want to make the most out of InVideo and have access to premium images and videos then you can upgrade from the free plan to a premium plan of only $30 per month or $180 per year and also the team at InVideo have generously given our audience a further 25% off with the code SG25 again I'll put that down in the description below the video okay so to get started and create an account come down and click try now it's free and then go ahead and fill out this information to create your free InVideo account. We're going to go ahead and fill out this information. And then once you've added your details, come down and click continue. Which of the following best describes you? I'm going to go ahead and click business and then click next. How many people work in your organization? I'm going to select 1 to 10 and then next. And just like that, we've signed up to a free InVideo account. Here we are on InVideo's dashboard. What we can do is actually start designing, creating and editing our videos from scratch or from pre-made templates that you can see below here. And before we navigate through InVideo's dashboard and create your first video with InVideo, what we want to do is navigate up to upgrade for free. And here we're just going to quickly cover the two pricing options. First we have the business plan and the unlimited plan. You can choose to pay monthly or yearly. You also have access to a free 7 day trial for each of these plans to see if they work for you. The main benefits of upgrading is you get to remove the InVideo watermark on your videos. And you also have access to the stock image and video library of over 10 million assets from premium sources like Shutterstock and iStock, which will help you create stunning and professional videos without uploading and using your own videos. And you also have access to 24 seven live support if you come across any issues or you have any questions and you can add unlimited members to a single account. So go ahead and if you like, get started with the free seven day trial or continue with the free plan for now, which is what we're going to do by clicking exit and navigating back to our dashboard. 
Okay, so let's quickly understand the dashboard before we create our own videos. First, on the left hand side, you can see that we have pre-made templates selected. This is where we have access to over 4,000 pre-made video templates. If we scroll down, you can see these templates down here that we can simply preview by hovering over the video and then clicking the video and that's going to bring up an expanded preview of the video that you selected. We can also navigate down to the sizing. At the moment we've got wide selected. We could also select square and that's going to convert the video into a square format. We can also select vertical and again that's going to transform this video into a vertical format. This vertical format is ideal for stories on Facebook or Instagram. Then we have the square which is ideal for Facebook or Instagram posts and then we have wide which is ideal for YouTube and other platforms. To use the template simply come down and click use this template but what we're going to do is click exit and then scroll back up to the top. And what we can do under pre-made video templates rather than scrolling through all these different pre-made templates is we can just navigate up to the search bar and type in a specific keyword related to the type of video we want to create. For example, maybe I want to create a video for a local gym. So what I could do is type in a keyword like gym and then I could select any of these suggestions. I'm going to go ahead and select gym. And just like that, I can now preview all the professional pre-made video templates that are related to the gym. Again, I can simply hover over each of these videos, click on the video, and again, that will open up a larger preview of this video template. Then again, we can navigate over to the right-hand side and select the template sizing options. And then when we're ready to use the template, just select use this template. Okay, so if we scroll back up to the top, and navigate back to home by clicking in video and here we are back on the in video dashboard we can also navigate over here and select the dimensions that we want we can also select text to video and here you can simply convert any text into an engaging video basically select the dimension that works for you then scroll through all the pre-made video templates select one that works for you for example this one over here and then you can come down and use this template and change the default text to your text. You can also change the background images and videos using premium stock images and videos that InVideo provides. Okay, so if we scroll back up to the top, we're nearly done with our dashboard. On the far right hand side, we have blank canvas. If we click here, this is where we can basically go ahead and select a dimension to get started with and then we can create a video from scratch rather than a pre-made template. However, if you're a beginner and you don't have much experience in creating and editing videos, then your best bet is to get started with a pre-made template. Select pre-made template and then scroll through the professional pre-made video templates and select a template that you want to build from or simply navigate back up to the top and type in a keyword related to the video that you want to create. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is show you how to create and edit a video from a pre-made template, rather than building from scratch, as that is one of the best things about InVideo, is their thousands of pre-made templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in gym again and use a pre-made gym layout. And then I'm gonna select gym add. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to select this ad here and then leave the dimension wide and then select use this template. And this is where we can go ahead and customize this video template. Now you can see that below this video, we have our timeline. This is our project timeline. This is how we actually create our video. So for example, at the moment you can see that the first scene has been selected. This is scene one. We have scene two over here then scene three, scene four, and so on. So if we navigate back over to scene one, above each scene, you can see that we have important elements related to the scene. On the left hand side, you can see the scene duration. Then we can navigate across and delete the scene, duplicate the scene, and we can see the scene on the timeline. Now, for example, if you click on one of your scenes, we have scene one selected. On the far right hand side you can see layers so these are the layers that make up this scene in the middle here for example if we click this element here and you can see that this element that we selected has been highlighted over here so this is the element on our scene 
up above you can see some editing details, some formatting options to edit the particular element that you've selected. Then down below on your timeline, you can also see more details about the duration of that element. So for example, this element appears in the first scene from the 1 second 63 mark all the way through to the 5 second mark. And you can go ahead and make that longer or shorter if you like by simply dragging the sides. Now in video lets you select the elements from the far right hand side under layers or you can simply navigate over to your scene in the middle here, the preview, and you can select the specific element. For example, if I select this element here, you can see that that is a text element on the right hand side. And again, above the video, you can see some formatting elements that you can use to customize this text element. For example, we can change the text color, the font size, or the font itself. And then we have other options across here. If I wanna change the text, I can simply click text and then simply change the text based on your requirement. So what I'm gonna do is actually leave the text as it is. And then let's say you're happy with the scene. Before you move on to the next scene, what you wanna do is navigate over to play scene from the start and play your scene from the start to make sure it flows the way that you like. Now, if you have multiple scenes already, what you can do is play all from Seeker. So what you could do is drag the Seeker and drag that to the beginning of the video and then click play and that's gonna play your entire video from the start. Again, if you just wanna play the specific scene that you have selected, just click this option here. Now, if we want to edit a new scene, simply click on the new scene that you want to edit. We're gonna select scene two. And now what we're gonna do is cover the elements on the left hand side. So first you can see we have templates selected. Again, you can type in a keyword related to the template you want to find and then simply scroll through all the templates that InVideo has to offer. Remember there's over 4,000 video templates that you can choose and use and customize the way that you like based on your video requirements. So go ahead and use the search function if you wanna add a new scene based on the pre-made templates. Then below that we have uploads. If we select uploads, this is where you can go ahead and upload your own media for in video. For example, if you've taken your own videos, you've got your own images or audio clips, you can simply drag those and drop them into here and simply add them to your video. Then below uploads, we have videos. If we click video, this is essentially where you can search for stock videos that you wanna use in your video. For example, if I wanted to search for a gym video, what I'd do is type in gym and then hit enter to find gym related stock videos. And then come down and simply hover over the videos that you want to preview and you'll be able to preview that video. You can also select the video and that's gonna bring up a larger preview of that video. And now what I can do is actually exit out of this and then locate that video again. And then I can simply drag the video and drop that anywhere on this video. For example, if I wanted to replace this video here, all I'd do is simply drag and then drop and either click replace to replace the video or add as a layer. What I wanna do is actually replace the video. So I'm gonna select replace and then come down and click done. Then up here, you can see that the old video has been replaced by the new video that we used from the left-hand side under videos. Then on the right-hand side, you can see that the video element has been selected. And above the video, you can see some formatting options for this video. Now, if we navigate down below videos, we have images. And over here, you have access to the stock photo library. Similar to the stock video library, you can search for any images by typing in the keyword up here and searching for your ideal image. And again, you can simply drag and drop these images onto your video. Now below images, we have music. And then with music, you can go ahead and search for the music that you'd like to add into your video. For example, if I click chill out, and that's gonna bring up all the chill out music. I can browse through each song and I can select the track. And then if you wanna use that music in your track, simply navigate over to the three dots, come down and replace the music. And that's gonna replace the audio or the music that's already on your video. You can see that Broadway has already been added by default to this video template. Now you can also click edit to edit the music that you currently have on your video and you can change the volume, you can trim the music, you can add loop, duplicate and delete. 
Now below music, we also have text. If we select text, we can browse through all the different text elements that we can use in our video. For example, if I like the look of classic, I could click classic and then navigate through all the classic text. If I find something that I like, I can simply click on the text element and that's going to add the text element to my video. I can simply drag and drop the element like any other element and then come down here and change the duration of this text element if I like. I can change this text by clicking text up in the formatting options or I can simply click on this text box and delete this and start typing my own text but I'm going to leave that as it is and actually delete this text box by clicking the text box by clicking delete on my keyboard or I can navigate over to the bin icon on the far right hand side and click delete and that's going to delete that element. Below text we can also click logo and this is where we can simply upload our own logo and that's going to appear on every scene on our video down here but I don't want to add a logo so I'm just going to simply click delete and select remove from all scenes. However that's how you can add a logo to every scene in your video. Now you can also rearrange the elements on your video scenes. For example we have scene 2 selected down here. What we can do is bring this white line up to the front by simply clicking the white line. Here it is over here and I can drag that to the very front of my layers. And that's going to bring this white line element to the front of my screen in front of every other element on this scene. Now I don't know why the video is not showing, it's just not loaded yet. But what we can do when we're finished with this scene, we can come down and click play scene from the start to preview the scene to make sure that it works well. Then simply head over to the next scene. And a few more things we want to show you are the transitions between scenes. So as you can see between scene 1 and scene 2 there's this little icon and that's between every scene. All you need to do is click here and that's going to bring up your scene transitions that you can play around with. So make sure you change the transition between each of your scenes. Then if we exit out of transitions and then navigate down to the bottom of our timeline and scroll across to the end of our video what we can do is simply add another scene if we like by clicking on the last scene and then coming up to scene and if we hover over scene we can choose from a template or a blank scene so we can create a blank screen that we can create from scratch or from a pre-made template and as you can see you have unlimited option to customize your templates and create scenes from scratch. Now when you're ready to preview your video from start to finish simply head back to the beginning of your video, click at the beginning of your video and then select play all from seeker and that's going to play your entire video from start to finish. So take the time to create your new video from a pre-made video template and once you get the hang of it you'll be able to build your own video from scratch without using pre-made templates. Once you get the hang of all the elements and tools and how you can actually customize your scenes, then you'll go from a complete beginner to an expert in no time. Now, what we'll do before we finish up is link InVideo's community Facebook group down below this video in the description. And what this is, is a group of more than 20,000 marketing experts and video creators that can help you create stunning videos. You can ask questions, you can get advice, and you can learn from these experts. So I recommend joining this free in video community Facebook group, and that's gonna help you learn and make the most of in video. Okay, now last but not least, when you're finished with your video, simply navigate up to download and share and then come down and before you download your new video make sure you upgrade to a premium plan remember you have access to a seven day free trial so go ahead and upgrade for free remember you do have 25 percent off the premium plans when you use sg25 which is the code that InVideo generously gave to our audience so go ahead upgrade for free use that code sg25 receive 25 percent off and download your video in 1080p once you've upgraded to premium and that's also going to remove the watermark from your video when you upgrade and then simply click download. 
Okay, now I've just quickly jumped over to our premium in video account so I can show you one last feature. You actually have access to all your past projects. When you arrive at your dashboard, once you've logged in, what you can do is actually head over to projects to see your previous projects. And then you can scroll down and preview all your different video projects that you've created in the past and you can download them or you can edit the most recent version. So that's something we like about InVideo because all your videos that you've created are stored on InVideo's platform. And you can simply find your video that you're looking for that you created in the past and you can continue building that video or you can duplicate it and build a similar video based off that video's theme. And that is the last feature we wanted to cover. So take the time to navigate through all the different pre-made video templates, learn how all the different elements and tools work. And like I said before, you'll go from a beginner to expert in no time. And that is it for today's in-video tutorial for beginners. You should now have the confidence to create your own stunning videos with InVideo. Now, if you have any questions about InVideo or this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like below this video and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys, have a goodie.